green, green. All right. We are here for some midweek magic. Phantom Golden Sealed. These are not added to my collection. These are just free to play and mess with.
Hello, hello. Welcome to Midweek Magic. Phantom Golden Sealed. So everything we get should be a rare or a mythic. Um, it's a draft? No, it's a sealed. Why do they call it a draft? So let's see what we crack open here. This could be silly. This could be good. Um, open. I mean, I want to look at all of my cards, but thank you. Creature enters to gain life. You gain five or more life this turn. I mean, cast something from your graveyard. Interesting. You may pay one, create a sorcerer roll, gets one plus one, and scry one on attack. This thing is insanely good. Uh, control day, reach and tap the turn face up, exile another tar, get non land permanent. If I controlled it, return it to the battlefield tapped. Otherwise, its controller makes a 2 2 white blue tip. That's interesting. I don't remember seeing that in that set, like, at all. You turn your thing into a 2 2 blue detective. Interesting. This is a 2 2 vigilance that can. put 1 1 counters on itself. And that'll put me at four white cards. <laughs> we have a total what is that? Two, four, six white cards in total. Rough. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'll go back. The other way. That's a seven, eight. Man, there are not a whole lot of anything in any color, huh? Target opponent exiles X of the library. Maybe look, play those cards. So I can just try to cast my opponent's stuff. Interesting. Lord Skitter's Blessing. I thought that was Lord Skitter for a second. Beginning of my draw step. If you control an enchanted creature, I lose one life and I draw an additional card. Romancer. Display of power is garbage. It's garbage. Analyze all is garbage. Mana of any color is okay. <laughs> six, six for three. Never gonna have another dinosaur for it. What is this? Oh, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of multicolored stuff. That's what this is. Yeah, the multicolored stuff. Oh man, we got a doppelgang. Ooh, we got a doppelgang. In combat, choose one, cloak a card, put a one counter in each colorless creature you control. Tax for each control power greater than its base power. Put a number of one counters in difference. Uh, this shit's gonna feel like commander games. Uh, Leyland of the Guild Pact. That's cool. Goose Mother's good. Whatever 
Your deals come into deals X damage. You target X cards, a number of different colored pairs among permanents you control that are exactly two colors. Well, if we play that, then this doesn't work. So that's that's really cool. The guild pack stuff turns off the guild pack stuff. We can just meme people with the millennial calendar. That's pretty good. We've got a sword. Don't play your swords with the ley line. Then they turn themselves off because ley line just is that good. It turns other things off. Another sword. Karn. Never attacks. Exile each creature that crewed it this turn. Return to the battlefield tapped and there's control. Next in step. I feel like this thing is just a banger of a card. If I remember correctly. I mean, I, I got two swords. Artifacts. We don't have any artifact control. I can't be spent. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Goose Mother can get jammed in. I mean, I got a ley line in the guild pact, so I probably am going to look at using it. Mana Fair is really good. Whenever I scry. Oh, Rond. Oh, there's Lord of the Rings cards in my packs? Holy fuck. Yeah, I don't know. Whenever I scry, put a 1-1 one, one counter on of each X target creatures, where X is the number of cards looked at while scrying. That's, that's a lot of words. Two Yavamiya coasts, though. For each creature in control with power greater than that creature's base power. So I do need to be getting 1 1 counters on stuff. All of you are good cards. Let's see if I have the support for you. It's all rares and mythics. That's the whole that's the whole shtick of midweek magic. They gave me six packs across all the sets, and it's nothing but rares and mythics. And I gotta make it work. This is silly. Silly, I say, silly. Tapped an untapped artifact if you do draw. Okay. Flying. They gain haste. I'm about to do five color artifacts. Wait, wait. I have two Tulsum here. <laughs>
Whatever land enters one mana and a color. No, I think I'm gonna want Gwenna. Play an additional land, cool. I control seven or more lands. I mean, look at the top card of my library anytime. I mean, play lands, cast creature, and enchantment spells from the top of my library. I mean, that seems. Okay. <laughs> Target land or graveyard baffled tapped. Weird enchantment. Turn up to three permanent graveyard in my hand. If you can go keep them, I put a permanent from my hand onto the battlefield. Search my library in a graveyard for a non human creature with mana value X or less and put it to the battlefield. Oh, man. I don't even know what I want to be doing. I know that sounds really good, though. Like, just for two green and X, look for the best creature in the deck and slap it onto the battlefield. Loam Speaker's mana fixing. Creature, land, reveal it, put a battlefield tapped. Otherwise, put it in my hand. Let's shuffle, loam counter target creature, fight. It doesn't fight it. Bites. Sorry. Exile something. I mean, if I'm, like, all green, that's okay. When it enters, for each player, destroy up to one non-basic land that player controls. For each land, destroy this way. Search for a basic land, put it on the battlefield, tap them, shuffle. That could be interesting for my own mana fixing. Right, because we got what, two, three, four, five non basic lands. They don't really cover all of the colors. You're in the you're in the maybe pile, fuck it. Flippy doo doo was just a powerhouse in its format. Like you got this and then you just kinda wanted to flip everything and I know I have a couple other disguised creatures but I fear I only have like four or five that are worth playing and I don't know that having two of the flippy doo doo is worth doing it uh, stealing my opponent's deck seems really fun Bat God was just good. Whenever you cast a spell that targets only a single artifact or creature you control, create a token that's a copy of it. Like, the Sea Shark was just amazing. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough triggers virtue of knowledge could be really fun with a lot of these etvs although i guess double up legendary tokens is probably not the best use of it let me cast a non-creature spell mana value three or greater draw a card <laughs> fun we have seven or more cards in hand Draw cards equal number of cards in your hand. You have no max on my hand size. For as long as you control the great synthesis. So it's for as long as he's flipped, you have no maximum hand size. All non-Phyrexians to the owner's hands. And that might bite me in the ass too. Any number of spells from my hand without paying their mana costs. I see. That seems really insane if you get that to work. This would be the kind of format to be able to do it too. 
defilers are right. Beginning upkeep scry too. Oh, that could go off with the scry. Whenever I scry, I put a 1 1 counter on which eat X creatures. Yeah, that could be crazy. Two creatures get 1 plus 1. Whenever you choose to put one or more cards in the bottom of your library while scrying, exile that many cards from the bottom of your library. During your turn, you may play cards exiled with the Temporal Anchor. Man, there's a lot going on in here. It's an artifact, though. I really like the spell dancer, just an unblockable creature that doubles up spells. Instant sorceries costs less. I've cast four this turn. Oh, uh, that'll be really hard to solve. But if I can solve it, all my spells become cantrips. Or my instants and sorceries, I mean. Assemble the Titans. See the other disguised guy. Alright, so like, these are the good cards from there. These are the good cards. You had synergy if I had the right deck, but I don't think I'm going to have that deck. You're, you just seem like you could be insane. You're super good. You're good. You're good. And you're good if we do artifacts. Alright. So let's... Get all this out of the way. I'll really break this down. Here the cheat code, if we can get five color going. Otherwise, um, what's a colored artifact? I think I'm gonna put you in the white pile. So artifacts, whites, blues, black. Reds, greens. Put my multicolors over here. Multicolor, multicolor, green, multicolor, 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 you guys are black, green, 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 black. Okay. So I definitely have a good amount of black and green cards that are worth investigating into. This one's probably too cute being double red. Which means I should probably cut just... A lot of these double red card, any of these red cards really. Prototyping 
this guy and then flickering him with that is going to be silly if we can get that to go off. Is that worth doing? Um, let's see. We can go Simic cards. Let's go Golgari cards. Selesnia cards. That changes things a little bit. Because the green goes across on all of it. You want the black, the blue, and the white together. Interesting, interesting. I mean, we're just too much of a fan of black, I feel like. I probably could just cut here and here and build some kind of, like, bant deck, getting rid of the black cards. Gonna potentially cast Doppelgang and the Goose Mother. Jingataxius is cool, but if we do that, we don't want our X spells. We've got some pretty good X spells. ETB triggers. ETB triggers. Uh, not really. Not really. Not really. No. No. Um, potentially, but I don't think we have a whole lot of. Oh, we got some X spells that we can make power fiber greater. A hammer skull for sure. He'll make ooh, uh, something power five or greater. That says cast it though, so we're not gonna be able to untap on that. You're not power five or greater. You want me to do buffed things? This is ETB triggers. Do we have anything that even triggers you? No, the one thing that would is already on the battlefield, hopefully. All right, well, you get taken out. That's an easy cut. Don't have the things to trigger your abilities. Manifair, Alrond, Chrome, Spell Dancer. I don't like it, so hear me out. I'm thinking Goose Mother and Doppelgang get set aside. Then we come back into our black pile of cards here. Hey, I had more black cards than that. Show me my black cards. Thank you. those and those uh, 
done real quick. Yeah, yeah, I know it's not valid. That's fine. Done. Must be of at least. Just, just add some some lands. Done. All right, go back. Let's look at this horrendous curve. <laughs> and see what we can do about fixing this. I mean, these are our end game spells for sure. That is a not very promising curve, let me tell ya. Activate abilities of creature sources. What a wild set, man. I feel like I just did, like, a chaos draft, and I just couldn't pick a lane, you know? Nah, dude, you're a two-drop. Who are you fooling? It's green. This is white. It's black. Do I even care really about the one extra blue source? I don't think I do. I think I would rather have an extra green source, maybe? No. That's six. That's five. That's five. That only gives me. 16 lands, but I've got two creatures that produce mana. No, that doesn't seem right. What are my color ratios? Color ratios. Oh, you're all messed up because it's multicolored stuff. Right. Double black, double black, double black, double green, double green. Honestly, I think we do go duck. Six, six, and five. Seems like a generous amount of sources. We got two swords, which will give us some interesting results. Making cuts. Oh, I gotta remember, you're a land too. cost a lot to get out, but you are a land, because I do eventually want at least eight. You want eight mana for doppelgang. Eight mana for doppelgang. Yeah, I'm playing Abzan Splash Blue for Mother Goose and Doppelgang. And even that might be wrong. I should probably cut Mother Goose and just play the doppelgang. Fourteen creatures. A 
we got stuff that looks for creatures or becomes creatures. Man, I cut the swords <laughs> and play this 40 card deck. Two is two, blue and black. Surveil, cast a mister sorcery, two or less from a graveyard without paying its mana cost. That's that's literally it. That's all I can do with that is I can assassin's trophy, if I've already assassin's trophied. Um, t -t -t -t. Because of the top two, you may play those cards this turn, and I may play an additional land this turn. Again, this one seems reasonable, but if I'm playing Leyline, then I don't want to play the sword. So I gotta pick one or the other, the Leyline or the sword. I think my deck can, can get there without the ley line. I'm not going super crazy on all four colors. It don't need any devotion. Yeah, all right, so ley line out, sword in. What do we think? Abzan Doppelgang? <laughs> yeah, Abzan Doppelgang. <laughs> Let's see what other people have put together in this... Uh midweek magic magic nonsense this has the potential to be one of the funnest mid midweek magics i've ever played or one of the most infuriating i think we keep that uh You have to go vendor into sword. That seems like cheating. Um, t -t 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 -t. Sword. And we don't have double black. Uh huh. Go here. Equip. decline we're gonna get the sword trigger here and that kind of sucks I mean this is a duplicate so that's not too bad but that would have been really fun to hit uh, I guess we end the turn <laughs> Uh, 
But we do get a hold up assassin's trophy. Uh, how about no? <laughs> <coughs> All right. You can play it from your graveyard. No buff. We'll just swing for four. Boo. I regret putting the sword in the deck now. This only cares about permanence. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> Whatever. We're figuring the cards out. Where the synergies are, if there's even synergies. Oh no, it's back. That was my mistake. For sure. Next. Line, you attack, go. Hell yeah, we can play an extra black card. Or that came out wrong. We can play <laughs> an extra black land. Let's do the thing. Give me your deck. <laughs> Soul Cauldron, that's cool. The War Leader's Call, that's cool. Um, you kind of need to do something about my Spellbook Vendor. A single mono black creature to block with. That's great. Can I remove that creature? Huh. Nice. So, mountain. <clears throat> Four leaders call. Play the case. And the soul cauldron. And auto pay. Buff yourself. You. Here. And you. Here. Um, yes. Play the green mana. End of the turn. Alright, we gotta survive this round. <laughs>
Did we do it? Nope, we lose. They would have a burn spell. Just taking our turn and playing out a Zoni and getting her trigger to go off would have killed them. <laughs> Not great. It's not great. And this could be so good if I could trophy my own thing and look for a land. But because it says an opponent controls, I can't kill my creature and get a clue and a land for two mana, which I would totally do in this situation. No, instead I have to blow up my opponent's bad thing and give them a land. <laughs> Hello, opponent. I see you looking at your hand like you're thinking of doing something. Sergio, my guy. I don't know how you were lucky enough to get him on a red deck, but... It is your turn. Oh-ho! So you definitely would, definitely would Assassin's Trophy now, because that's my fifth mana, so I could start casting the rest of my, my hand. Trophy and go get a planes. Non-creature spell, huh? Well, I got news for you. Sony's getting close to being cast, but I can't trigger the... what's it called? Honestly, I might just play this out so that I can flip the ley line. I need to kill this thing first, though. I'm supposed to do something here, right? Oh, he's getting to separate them into two piles. Or they. <laughs> Put that 
Okay. Chooses one of those piles. Choose a pile to put into your opponent's hand. So I can give them two mana and a Devastator. And give his creature one plus one and a hate. You can have the equipment, my guy. There's some green mana. It's, it's three, four, five, six. So I want two more before I cast Doppelgang. Tagger. Target non creature spell unless his controller pays one. If that was the right play, but I really want to smear out on the battlefield. I probably should have left up Assassin's Trophy. What did you bargain for it? Oh, you bargained the Crimson Pulse. Oh, okay. Thank you for the mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we draw a land, we can doppelgang. <laughs> <laughs> he did not draw a land. Trophy you. I was going to say, you either get a land or you get a counter spell. We're going to. Thank you, into a 3-3. Three, three. You guys go there. End of the turn. Oh, 
do you have so many flying haste creatures? <laughs> How? Thank you for leaving my mana alone. I really, really appreciate that, opponent. <laughs> uh, come on, we just need to draw a land. I might even crack this. I was hoping to save it for the bargain, but... Let's draw a land. <laughs> All right, doppelgang. Uh, for two. You and you. Thank God they're tapped. <laughs> and the Hail Mary. Good game. <laughs> Uh, no. Uh... <laughs> All right, this is kind of an interesting, fun little uh, event they got going on. Like, even if I didn't play Arena regularly, I might hop on to play this one. This one's kind of fun. Just here, here's a bunch of random errors and mythics. Can you build a deck out of it? Go. Like, I, I don't know. Can I build a deck out of it? Ah, this is so close to being good. I think I have to mulligan that. I'll keep six. <laughs> okay. Come on and take a free win. Free win. More gems? Ooh, is mythic. Is mythic. It's from the, the vault. That one's hard to get. Whenever I cast a creature spell, make a colorless gnome or create a token that's a copy of target artifact token you control. Interesting.
man, we gotta play this on two. Or on three, I mean, we're gonna play it on turn three. Ooh. Let's surveil. That's actually good. <laughs> we'll play out a 6-6. Six, six. I don't care if it stuns itself and it can't attack but every other turn or whatever. Like, ooh, that's a good card too. Hide in plain sight. Nice. Play the golden Argosi. Swing in with my 6-6. Six, six. Stun it. Alright. Alright, which one do we block first? The left one or the right one? As far as these face down cards go, which one do we think is more dangerous, left or right? When this creature deals combat damage to a player or a battle, return a target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That is not good. Um, let's crew. From the graveyard to the battlefield. There's nothing. Alright, we'll drop. Do I just trophy her real quick? I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. Man, they just hit, like, the recursion deck. Whenever it attacks, exile target creature card from your graveyard. Tapped and attacking. It's a 3 3 Wraith with a Menace. Beginning of the next end step. Exile that token unless Sauron is your ring bearer. Oh, that's an instant? Oh, that's cheating.
see, now if I don't block, you get a thing back, and that sucks for me. Um, what can we do it? Do it's one, two, three, four, five. So I can I can hit for five and steal five cards off your library. <laughs> oh, that hurts. this up to four yet? No. Alright, so we definitely just want that out. Definitely want to kill... something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. So we can cast this next turn. And just go ham from there. Hey. Me too. I see. I did mess up, didn't I? I know, box. Get your Soren back. I did mess up. I did mess up. Oh. Man, they got a very synergistic, just, I put shit in my graveyard, I pull all the things out of my graveyard deck. <laughs> they got so many recursion spells. Yeah, I was gonna say, why wouldn't you? I mean...
Alright. How do we do this? We're at three, two, my friends. It won't be enough. It's all menace. <laughs> menace, 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 menace. There's no, there's no surviving this. Wish my rares were that good. <laughs> that was insane. Just some Golgari recursion shit. I was gonna kill the flyer. You keep playing one land every turn, and I've I've missed my main color. <laughs> Great, cool. At least I got my main color. kill the flyer or do I get mana on the board I think I get mana on the board To destroy that, but I also want to destroy that. I just don't have enough removal. 
And then if I do this, I'm not going to do anything else. That's... That's great. Honestly, I think I'm just going to sack the clue and see what I draw and quit. <laughs> We out, you win. <laughs> that was rough. Thrined. Should not have done what I just did, but whatever. Rona. I want to do it. Oh, draw this card. I'm gonna trade this. Nice. Actually went with the Niv Nizza Guild Pact. That's five, but I don't have double green or double white for the five mana spells. That's clever, I guess. Three. I'll take the top three of whatever you got, my guy. cheating <laughs> yeah, good game <laughs> I 
okay, can I get my nut hand now and, like, win a game? We won one decent game, and then somebody just quit. C can we win the third game and be done playing Midweek Magic? Or are you going to hold me here in Purgatory Hell? Really, Fairy Mastermind? You're crazy, my guy. You're crazy. Nice. You're supposed to do that on my turn so you trigger an extra card draw for yourself. <laughs> you want to race? We can race. all about the scry my guy it's, it has nothing else Five, six, seven. We're only three turns away from the doppelgang. That's fine. <laughs> Rot priest. Annoying. I have the one card in my graveyard. Interesting. Alright, they weren't feeling as good about their uh, position on board, I guess. Claim. Alright, well, that was, that was midweek magic. With this wild sealed pool, where most of this did not matter in the end. And somehow my one splash card came up in like every game we played. We didn't get to cast it in every game we played, but it was there.
What a deck. <laughs> Add the decks. Actually, that reminds me. I feel like I accidentally added a deck to... Wasn't that one? Huh. Weird. Could have swore I accidentally added a deck to my decks that I didn't mean to. Whatever. Alright, we got blue and green spells, red and green spells left. So, two green spells, and those are done. That should be easy to do. Uh, let's go be miserable in a broom, Bloom Burrow draft, huh? These things are so much fun. <laughs> yeah, one draft today. That's what you get out of me. One. Unless it's a trophy draft, then we might do two. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if we can even get enough people to fill an entire pot of eight. We get probably the worst blue rare to open. It's a decent blue frog. Consumed by greed is a really good black spell. The sentinel has been fun. Outside of that, I guess the hunger is the best removal spell. Consumed by greed is okay, but this one this one just straight up kills, destroy target creature. Might be the best card in the pack. The splash lasher is a little hard to pass up on just because of the the stun. And in the frog you can usually flicker it and kinda get the effect a couple more times. But yeah, I think we're just gonna start with black removal. See where we can pivot into. A stoat's okay. Playful shove's okay. A yeah, splash portal, long river lurker. We could have been set up some pretty good blue cards for the frog stuff. I might just take the bane duo here. See if we can't set ourselves up for some food and some squirrel forging. Otherwise, again, the best card is like removal here with playful shove and draw a card, or potentially the long river lurker. Those would both be valid picks right now, but I'm gonna pick the duo and try and cut off green early. The rat warlock. I have not been impressed anytime I see this thing played, like ever. Gerbils can go nuts. Briefkin Duo is a good card. Daggerfang Duo is a decent card. And it's either Longstock Brawl or Daggerfang Duo here. They both enhance the deck. I think again, I'm gonna cut removal. We're gonna cut the green cards. We'll send the frog signals so the person next to me can be playing frogs, but I'm gonna take anything that's green that's not for the frog deck. They won't even have a chance at it. That squirrel is mine. There's a bunch of bat stuff.
Yeah, we're gonna take the squirrel though. I'm gonna declare the squirrel deck as mine and see if we can't get away with it. Turn target promo card to graveyard if it was promised. Return two targets. Yeah. Shapeshifter. The share pot makes a food in his removal. This will wheel, this won't. In exile and in my graveyard. You know what? We're gonna take this guy. That's my first pull on him. I haven't been able to get one. Okay, so do I want the squirrel? Or do I want the removal? And I think in this case, it's proper to take the squirrel for the deck. And then pass on the removal signal. Hidden Grotto could be pretty good. Otherwise, I'm rare drafting. Nah, I'm gonna take the rare. <laughs> Get another long stock brawl. I could pick up the first Dagger Fang duo. Or I can pick a card for my collection. No, I'm gonna pick up the Dagger Fang duo. Um, we don't want anything here, so we pull for gems. Uh, enters tapped, pick a color. Splash portal for the collection. Guess we'll take the land. It suggests the land. Uh, collection. Collection. We have it for the collection. Uh, scavenger's talent. That's going to be perfect for our deck. Whenever one or more creatures you control die, create a food token. Sure, it only triggers once, but that means when my squirrels die, they leave behind food for the other squirrels. That's going to be great. Just just getting this out on one is, is huge for us. Um, Wick, man, whoever's going to go with Wick is going to have two of them. They're going to be happy about that. Wick's patrol is also good. We're not going to see that wheel. The patchwork banner could be huge. We're not going to see that wheel. Like, we might see the assassin wheel. The sentinel's not going to make it for sure. Like, this is the only card we want out of this pack. If this wheel is nobody's in rats, and I'm rare drafting. But that scavenger talent really, really solidifies we want to be in the squirrel stuff. Um, two creature cards from graveyard to your hand. So loses two life, gain two life is pretty good. Man, Season of the Bold is also really good, but we are not near red. I might just take it for the collection because it's a mythic. Is the mythic worth the return to creature cards? Yeah, that's fine. We're, we're actually going to play the deck. I'm not rear drafting. We're playing, we're playing magic. We want to build a good deck. We want this draft to go good. Ruthless? Man, where are all my squirrel stuff? You're going to give it to me in one pack and make me only pick one thing, aren't you? There's another Nocturne. We would have been fine taking that Mythic. Damn it. This thing's just good. <laughs> I don't care what deck it's in. Make 
forge, if you do draw. That's their graveyard, loose X life. Oh, it's the Bramble Pot. Come on. Hugs? <laughs> Hugs? Really? There is nothing for us in here. Maybe the Dire Sight? But I'm in a Mythic Draft. Are you kidding me? Hugs is so good. Get a dire sight anyway. I mean, I don't want to be playing the duo, but what else am I gonna do? I guess I could take a card for the collection, huh? Yep, there it is. It wields, so nobody's in rats. <laughs> Rare drafting, that some bitch. Uh, let's complete the collection there. Get another rare for the collection there. Ah, this is so good. Alright, we only need to get like 10 cards out of this to have a playable deck. <laughs> uh, this thing's so cool. I already crafted them all though, so I'm not tempted by it. And we're going to get the heaped harvest here. Yeah, this won't wheel, so I want to get it now. This thing's pretty good, too. But this is mana ramp and food for my deck, so... Expand four, long stock brawl. Wow, two storm splitters back to back. I wonder if anybody's even trying to play otters. It's the brawl here, really? Yeah, I did not see enough squirrel support for myself. I should have been picking a different deck. so bad to draft. Just steal the rares. <laughs> This is this is having some trouble getting put together. Oh wait, that's a land, so seventeen. I need six more cards. I don't know. Man, it's the Baker's Bane duo, come on. Early winter. Plenty of uh, removal now. I mean, I'll take the gems. Uh, 
stupid. <laughs> From one card short of a deck. How many rats did we get? Two. <laughs> so we have the potential to play a 2-4 four for four. That might make another 2-2. Two, two. Maybe. <laughs> Well, that's it. This is this is what it looks like. A hot pile of garbage. Let's go. <laughs> oh man. Talent. Share pot. We sacrifice three other non land permanents. Return a creature card from the battlefield with a finality counter. Right, right. thing gives away its power oh no this is gonna hurt Got to attrition you out, my guy. Sorry. So much damage. Stop it. <laughs> you. I'm going to mill you out. <laughs>
really? You had the exact plus three, plus three? That's so stupid. That's so stupid. It's alright, I didn't have high hopes for this deck anyway. <laughs> it kind of got a little rare drafty at the end there. Somebody better at drafting this set than me will look back and be like, yeah, frogs or otters. Those those were wide open and would have been really good for you to be in. It's no good. You. Uh, target opponent exiles a card. There's literally only one opponent to ta like target. You target everything else if there's only one. Why won't you do it for this card, Arena? bats it's the bats hello how goes things thank you for the follow I appreciate that um, yeah that's fine I guess well, the stream's doing all right it has its up and downs. The drafts aren't going so good right now, but that is just the current set. The day is doing pretty good. That's a loaded question. Are you talking about today or just in general? Oh, I feel like I've been dabbling for like over a year now, but I just decided to get consistent in the last month and a half, two months. do a daily I've got like four days out of the week that I'm trying to hit for four hours give myself a little bit of time to edit footage and upload to YouTube so I'm practicing uh, editing video which is uh, interesting it's not something I thought I would be doing and here I am trying to do it um, leaves me with two We want to play the tap land now. I don't think it matters. Let's do the thing. Draw a card. It's a good card to draw. Oh no! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so we can start playing out the big guys. Mm. 
Big boy. Um, yeah, it is pretty empty. I've been doing things just a little bit at a time, you know. Each week I try to to add something a little more to the stream, and that seems to be doing all right for me at the moment, so I'm not trying to rock the boat too much. You hang out and around, and I'm sure you'll see me grow, you know. I didn't have the the start messages i'm looking at changing my profile stuff around i mean it kind of depends usually when people ask me and if i don't mind they're all of a sudden trying to sell me something Oh, uh, it was a fight spell, not a bite spell? Well, that kind of sucks for me. Lesson learned. You can leave me a, a tag or like a hyperlink, or if you want to send me a whisper or something with your a link to your work, I will potentially look at it. when I get around to like getting my brand and stuff like that going so is there a specific reason it has to be on discord You ask if I have a Discord, and I asked if there's a specific reason that you're asking for a Discord. You're not the first person to come in and ask for my Discord like this. I'm just curious. Because my art, uh, okay, but you you should have something that's not Discord if you're selling your art, like maybe a hyperlink to a website or something like that that you can whisper me. I don't understand why you need my Discord information to send me the link when you're already engaging with me here. The link should be the same whether it's on Discord or in my DMs, right? Well, that just seems not correct. Okay, we actually got a win. I was all distracted over here. <laughs> the the playing and reading chat and talking is is a skill you definitely have to get used to.
All right, Luna. Well, I'm not really interested in doing anything art branding or anything like that right now, but I'll give you the follow back and I will mark you down. And when I do go look to get like emotes and whatever else I want to put on here, I will keep you in mind. fight each other, man. I was thinking just damage would be dealt. Uh-oh. You're missing a color. Is it green or is it red? Either way, it's not looking good. Either way, it is not looking good. Alright, I get it. We're supposed to do the thing. Wow, this is looking like a win for sure. <laughs> Can you make three blockers? It doesn't look like three blockers to me. You know, I didn't draft the deck that I thought I drafted, but it is doing a thing for sure. If it gets one more win, I'm going to be happy. That means it's going to go at least 3-3, three, three, which you can't complain about an even draft. I mean, you can, but there's no reason to. Well, that might be problematic. You got the nuts? Oh yeah, you got the nuts. This sucks. <laughs> God, 
God, so much power. Take action. Well, I think that just killed us. If he's got removal, he wins. Oh, menace. <laughs> uh, that was bad. Damn. Just absolutely thrashed. It's not great. Baker's duo. Come on. It's it's the first couple of turns, my guy. Don't overthink it. The stronger one. what you want to do.
Nice, nice. I think I want to mill at this juncture. I would like to decline that action. What do you have that you can do at instant speed for one white? It's that crumb and get it, and they can make it indestructible. That's what they have. Because, of course. you got <laughs> you can do it back that's fine um, kind of have to trade the one
Oh, come on. Is this your last game if you lose two? Oh, that's good. Still just swinging, man. <laughs> uh, fine. <laughs> Play another Baker's Bane duo. <laughs> Do the thing, break the land. Use it, use it. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's thin the deck. Classic magic. Oh, you need a bunch of lands? Here, let me help you. Draw lands and mana ramp twice. Deck. <laughs> we can't do this now. Come on. I've known you had it for a while. Just use it. Yeah. I'm so glad you used it defensively. Right? 
Just, you drew a land, and then a thing to mana ramp, and then you mana ramped again, and then I'm gonna give you five more lands to make sure that you have all the lands. And the shitty thing is, is I'm looking, and I still have a 28% chance to draw a land again. This is frustrating. Five lands left in the deck. So, five lands out of 17 is like a 30% chance. Twenty-nine, something like that. Three, four, five, six, seven. Can you get the two more damage? Okay. I do think that this is pretty much the last like two or three turns of this game anyway, and this will be the third loss. So. We don't have too much longer in the stream anyway. Yeah, especially drawing like that. They win. That was that. <laughs> Fuck. Well, at least midweek magic was somewhat fun. Yep, I appreciate everybody hanging out. Stopping by, saying hi. Uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow for some Bellatro.